Hello and welcome, RC Shim in the hangar. I'm wearing goggles so I see on the screen if it's sharp or not. Better get used to it. <laughs> this is a reshoot. I did this yesterday but yeah, I messed it up with the GH5. Now I have a new firmware on it. And apparently the autofocus should be more in focus. I have this monitor here where I can see if I'm in focus or not. Okay, sorry for the off topic. Reason for this video is I want to show you the FXT Technologies Ares video transmitter, the VTX. Pit mode 25, 200, 600, and 1000 milliwatts. And this is a takeaway. Um, they are quite accurate in their marketing. So I measured everything here on the bench. <laughs> I measured the heat and the RF output power. I measured it still with the old Immersion RC power meter because the new one gave me unreliable readings. So I don't know what's up with this. I have a little 12 volt direct power set up here and the temperature sensing thing. We're starting at 27 degrees Celsius. Long pressing it gets me in the mode 25, 200, 600, 1000. If all three LEDs are blinking, you're in the 1 watt mode. 1 watt mode heats it up quite quickly. So you see if it's on 1 watt, it heats up quite fast goes up all the way to over 100 degrees Celsius and but you also see it's the advertised over 1 watt of RF power yeah 60 is already too hot to touch and we're below 1 watt you see how it starts to degrade in power and I will link you this or give you a screenshot now and I found, of course, I found the correlation between temperature and milliwatt output. If this thing is colder, then it performs better. So it should be cooled well, but normally this thing is cooled well on a multicopter. It has a nice fabricated heat spreader that does its job. You see it's also the mounting bracket. And there is the connector. The connector is that much pins. So this is called an MMCX connector and that's the port of the VTX directly. If you want to use an SMA antenna then you need this cable that comes with it. It's an MMCX to SMA. Of course on a tiny build you want to use something like this here, an angled little lollipop or this is a Pagoda with MMCX directly or Pagoda with SMA. The cable situation on this is easy. It just needs power and then you need to supply the video cable, red and black, to your FPV cam. Those weight saving freaks of you. Let's just see what the scale tells us about it. Uh, it's a simple 10 grams. We get this tiny little manual which is a bit hard to read and which you might want to take a photo with your phone and have it on your phone to make it larger. You see the pin out, you can supply 5 volts to your FPV cam, you have cam control and smart audio and you can go from 2 to 8S batteries. As I told you, pit mode up to 1 watt. And this is the way they indicate the channels. They have three red and three blue LEDs. The red LEDs are for the channel, the blue for the band. So I'm on FATCHAK, FATCHAK 4, so one blue and two red. And also important, the power setting, you have to long press it. And then basically three blue LEDs are the pit mode and three red LEDs are the 1 watt and everything in between is 25, 200 and 600. Yeah. You can remember this or you have your copter set up with smart audio 
or you use gesture control. Not using a Foxy cam, but if you use an FXT cam that supports it, you can have an additional wire that interprets the gestures, the, the waving with your hand in front of the cam to change channels or something. I didn't test it. It's, yeah, I don't need this. Of course, you get such a cable with it. Yeah, that's basically it for the thing here. If you've seen my SpeedyB build, you know that I already installed an RS VTX there. And here you see it's, it would be better if the button was on the same side as the LEDs because on the back here the standoff blocks it a bit so I cannot access this button too well. I need a pencil or something. So could be better if it's on the side. But other than this I had no issues flying with it. So I've seen a few but only a few other reviews. Gal Kramer, sorry, <laughs> sorry Gal. Uh, did an extensive range flying test with this thing here. He flew it, I think, with the one watt setting, of course, and flew out very far on the field. He ran into issues with rapid fire from the camera he used. Looks like he was impressed with the range he got. I didn't fly too far yet with my speedy peak since this is an acro build. Okay, that's it. I wanted to keep it short. Maybe because I already filmed this. I don't know. This thing gets my recommendation. I got it sent from FXD directly. I have no affiliation with them. It's a nice install. And I like the fact that the milliwatt readings are honest. It gets hot. Of course it does. That's why it has the heat spreader. Just don't keep it lying on the bench with one watt for too long, but that goes with any VTX. Dangerous if you don't install an antenna this thing will be fried in a short amount of time So always have an antenna connected if you power it up even in pit mode Go check out the links in the description give them a visit on their homepage Leave me some comments how you like this review What is the VTX that you are using? Are you using advanced features like smart audio and gesture control? I always feel a bit old-fashioned if I don't use these smart techniques but yeah in, in this case I was just too lazy to solder the smart audio cable from the controller board to the VTX and so forth. Soldering tiny things is not my thing so let me know am I the only one old-fashioned enough to do it button press style or are there others out there that think the same like I do. Okay, so thanks a lot for tuning into my channel. Hope you like this little and honest review of this VTX. I will keep using it more on my SpeedyP. I flew a crazy lot flights with SpeedyP already. Have a ton of footage that I want to cut together for you. Some really nice spots. Stay tuned for this. If you found this channel uh, right now, please subscribe and also consider the bell so you will not miss any of my uploads. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye. I just love the fact that this thing now focuses on me. <laughs> it's not sure though if this is still focused, but no.